Am I excited? Yes, I am. Um, am I confident? Yes, I am. Do I think we're going to win? Yes. Why? Because we're the better team, of course. And when I'm talking about better team, Arsenal are better than Chelsea at this kind of moment. Everyone should know that. I don't think it should really be a discussion. Um, but we're playing them this weekend. And I feel like, I don't know, I haven't, I ha I'm kind of struggling to understand why a lot of Chelsea fans are kind of confident for this. Or on Twitter, of course. I'm seeing them say that oh, we're going to get absolutely run off the park. They're going to be excited to be seeing, getting all this transition football and stuff. And I'm like, first of all, this isn't Liverpool. You're not going to really get them opportunities like that. Because first of all, we are more defensively secure than Liverpool. Second of all, we actually have a proper six that plays in that position. Being Declan Rice. Now, one thing... I'll always say is that he's proved me wrong, but to be honest, because when it came to the transfer window, it was a case of it was either we get Rice or Caicedo. Now, in my opinion, I wanted Caicedo mainly because he has come from a team that likes to play possession football. And I would be thinking that the, the transition between moving from Brighton to Arsenal wouldn't really be a problem because he's understood what being a six for like a possession-based team would be like and it, will, it wouldn't be hard for him to understand the culture at Arsenal whereas with Rice he's played with a much more defensive team in West Ham in which you can see with the way they play now in this season the way a six would play there would be completely different for the way Arsenal you would play it as a six for Arsenal and he shut it down completely now one f one thing I would absolutely love to see would be for Kai Havertz to score but if we're going to be honest it's best that he doesn't start but especially in the midfield if he is starting it is because he is up front and up front alone I don't want to ever see him in the midfield because I, I hope them I hope the experiment ended because it's not it's not working it's not it um so it's a case of I do think it should be a comfortable win we shouldn't really be struggling to Chelsea, especially with where they are in the league. And I will say, I will give them their credits. They, their defense is definitely not their weakest point. It's where it's it's going up, it's going up forward. It's definitely where their problems lie. And to be honest, that isn't really something that's new to say. They've always had a problem with a striker. Whether it's like I'll say their last competent striker I remember them see having was. Diego Costa and how many years ago was that um but yeah um I'm pretty confident that we're gonna get this win what do I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be like 2-0 very competent easy performance I I just I just don't get it because it's like I understand Liverpool are doing well to be fair like Chelsea they're, they're not that team we really shouldn't be making them that hard of work that hard of work i just want to get this thing done so we can move over to the next game and just keep it pushing i mean we are on a run right now we haven't lost but i also don't want to draw because when you look at the games that we've drawn um fulham home and tottenham at home the goals that we conceded were definitely preventable especially against tottenham when we go 2-1 up and we immediately concede we don't want to be conceding goals like that because against Chelsea with their defensive record, I think that they would be very happy to let us have the ball and just hit us on the break because that's just, I mean, although with the way Pochettino wants to play, us not being a part of the bus football team is going to suit them much more. But we have our qualities and I do think that our attack will outshine theirs. So... We will dominate possession, definitely. That's for sure. So, yeah. I do think it's going to be a comfortable win. I don't think it's going to be anything too tough. Well, that's saying it's not going to be comfortable. But I will say it won't be comfortable. But it won't be like Man City when you're always on edge. I mean, even against Man City, they didn't even look like scoring at all. But, yeah. Um, I think we'll beat Chelsea. Um, I'll say it before and I'll say it again. 
we have a really good record at their stadium. It's almost telling, you know, I won't I won't make a name for it, but but we are we do have a decent record at their stadium. We've won I think it's like the last three meetings at their stadium. Last season, the season before that, and the season before that as well. So yeah, I hope it continues. Long may it continue because we need to continue winning at their stadium. Because they are, whether you like it or not, they are a big six team. And getting wins at big six teams, stadiums, is great. So I'd love for that to happen. So yeah, up the Arsenal and hopefully we get the win.